Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. The lovely ladies from Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes have sent over another one of their Harry Potter themed boxes, Wizard's Vault, to the Potter Collector Library. So let's open it up together and see what's inside. The box itself is packed with Harry Potter related things and icons. I mean, we have Harry Potter's glasses, a, a Dark Mark, Luna Spectro Specs, some different spells, Lumis, Wingardium Leviosa. I mean, the whole entire box is just loaded with these things. I love this print, it adds magic to it and clearly says what it is. It's a Harry Potter themed box. Then we have the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes Wizards Vault logo right in the center. All right, let's see what's inside. Dun, 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 dun. They usually put tissue paper on the top. Yeah. <laughs> the packing slip on top is an item list and also it gives you the retail value of the items in your box. So we're gonna put that aside for now. The tissue paper is sealed with a Wizard's Vault wax seal, AKA sticker. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, what's that? Bell Jar Light. I see something that says Bell Jar Light. So let's actually just look at what says Bell Jar Light. Now, one of the things I love about Wizard's Vault is that all of the items are licensed Harry Potter items. And some of them are things that you would purchase at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter or other stores. But this here is a Bell Jar Light. Oh, cool! It's a snitch, it's a golden snitch, bell jar light. So I'm assuming it lights up and then looks like the snitch is glowing and floating. Oh yeah, on the back it shows a diagram of the snitch lit up, so it's underlit, which probably gives a nice cool effect. All right, let's open this up. It's a USB powered light, touch activated on off functions. Here is the power cord, the USB power cord. And from the looks of it, you just touch the top to turn the light on and touch it to turn it off. Ta -da. I don't believe it opens, which it's okay. It doesn't need to open. Let's plug this in and see how it works. All right, I have it plugged in. <gasps> ah, wait, oh, it's it's the bait. No, so this is the base or the, the top? Well, cool. So it's lit up. Let me turn the lights out. Very cool and unique item. I've never seen this before. I love that it's a snitch because I am a seeker. And then the Harry Potter logo on the front, which I don't love. I wish that they had maybe put it on the back because it distracts from the piece a little bit, but very cool item. And then when you're ready to turn it off, tap the top. I think I'll have this on all the time though. Good luck today, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch would be easy work for you, even if it is against. Slytherin. A very fun first item. Let's see what else is in the box. All right, there's something on the side here. Looks like maybe a journal, a notebook and wand pen. The wand pen fall out. All right, the, the front of the, oh, it's two different notebooks. Notebook and wand pen, but there's no wand pen. So maybe the wand pen is still inside here, but the front artwork is lenticular and shows Bellatrix Lestrange's wanted poster, as well as a page from the Daily Prophet. And then the other one is of Lucius Malfoy saying caught. Lucius Malfoy caught dark times ahead. Very fun notebooks on the back is the dark mark. Here is the inside of those notebooks. The artwork featured in the corners here are Death Eater wands as well as some magical dark swirls. Very cool notebooks. All right, let's see, there is a pin. <laughs> it's a Romilda Vane pin. Dear Harry, thinking most thoughts of you. And it's a box of chocolates, which if you've read the books and seen Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, you know that Ron gets into the chocolates, eats them, and falls in love with Romilda Vane because they were laced with love potion for Harry. The packaging is very nice, it's like a Valentine's Day card. The pin itself was made by Anna Magus Co. and it is a little box of chocolates. Very fun, I love pins, so this is cool to see. All right, let's see what else is here. A lanyard of sorts, perhaps? Wow, a heavy duty Slytherin lanyard by BioWorld. This is gonna be great for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Potter. There's a place for your credit cards or ID or annual pass. And is this a sticker? This is a sticker, cool. So the snake in the center of this card is a sticker. So you can put this on your lanyard or somewhere else. There's a snake keychain attached to it. The clasp is metal, so this is pretty heavy. So if you want easy access to remove your little credit card wallet from your lanyard, it easily comes off and then it also detaches. 
from the top. I like the design of this a lot. The thing I don't like is that it's heavy. The metal here kind of pulls on your neck, and I don't know how my neck would feel after a full day at Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But very, very cool item. I like the details. I like the different colored metals, as well as the darker green color mixed with the lighter green. Maybe when the park's open again, I'll give this a try, because I do really like this. All right, looks like, oh cool. This is the last item, so no pen in there, but this is the last item, and it's a goblet, a Slytherin goblet. Oh, I'm excited about this. I have seen this before and actually thought about getting it, but never actually did. So to see this in a box, it's like, this is awesome. You read my mind. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, this looks like a magical goblet. It has a really nice weight to it. It feels like stone. The cup itself is metal. It has green emeralds surrounding the cup, as well as the Slytherin crest on all four sides. Let's get some more information on this. Oh, it's a decorative goblet, so you probably don't want to drink out of it. Can you drink out of it? It's made by Inesco. Not a toy. Hand wash with cold water. Do not soak in water. Okay, so I think you can drink out of it, but it is considered a decorative goblet. How cool is that? Now, I'm pretty sure that they make them for all four houses, but I must say this Slytherin one is pretty darn awesome. I don't see how the other three houses can compete with this. Because it's something that you would expect to see in the Slytherin common room. These stone goblets that the Slytherin students in the Slytherin common room use to drink out of. Very, very cool piece. This is going to look really cool on top of my shelves. Those were the items in this box. Let's take a look at the packing slip. The decorative goblet retails for $35. The two-pack lenticular notebook set retails for $12.99. I would believe that for two of them. The very heavy-duty Slytherin lanyard retails for $12. I would also believe that. $35 for our golden snitch and $14.50 for the Ramilda Vane pin, which is an exclusive to Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes. That seems a little bit expensive for this pin. Something like this at Wizarding World of Harry Potter would actually be less expensive, but seeing as it is an exclusive, that raises the price up a little bit. But I do think that $14.50 is a little high for, for this pin. The retail value is $109.49. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of these items, if you've seen them before, which one was your favorite. My favorite it had to be this goblet, but I also love the light up golden snitch. I think that's a really cool display piece. And that as well as this goblet are gonna look fantastic on top of my shelves. But this is just so cool. What's cool about this subscription box is you go on their website and then go through a little survey and that helps the curators of the box come up with a personalized box just for you. So they literally pick every item based on the subscriber's preferences, which I think is very cool and very unique. Now the two sizes, the larger Wizard's Vault is $89 and it comes with at least four relics. And then they have the Wizard's Vault silver version for $49 and that comes with at least three relics based on value. We're gonna select the larger Wizard's Vault. All right, so you choose your gender, boy, girl, or neutral. Then you choose your house or you can select, I'm still waiting for my sorting ceremony and then you choose your favorite creature companion. Or if you don't like animals, you can select that you don't want anything except for your robes, trunk, and your wand, but we're gonna select an owl. And then you type in your robe size, AKA your t-shirt size. What is your Patronus? A raven. And then you go with favorite spell, favorite Harry Potter character, and then give a little bit of information about yourself. And that's it. And then they will customize a box for you. If you would like to subscribe or give the Wizard's Vault a try, see the description down below for a link, as well as a coupon code for $7 off any of their boxes. They have different fandoms like Disney, Harry Potter, different things to choose from. That coupon code is the Potter Collector. Unfortunately, right now, the Wizard's Vault only ships within the United States. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Hi, my name is Amy. Hi, my name is Sophia. Keep collecting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?